Five Minute Forecast Weekly Tarot from Monday the 23rd of September through to Sunday the 29th of September last week. Now, and talking about last week, last week was a bit of a funny one because it had cups, Queen of Cups and some upside down tenant cups. So your feelings were going to be hurt or odd feelings were going on last week. Now this week I get a few cards that could explain it. The devil, so it could be a fight, it could be a disagreement, it could be a employer slash you're the employee and he's going, no, you, can, you didn't get the promotion, sorry, you're making too many mistakes. It could be a partner, it can be somebody that's in your sphere that really are trying to chain you to them. They're trying to make you nearly their pet. So don't fall for it because we've got another card too that it could mean that you have to be like this page of pentacles and a learner driver and a student in the area of moving to managing your life in a different way. That's that second card coming from the heart. So it's like I'm not putting up with any BS anymore because the next card also is the Empress and number three of the Major Arcana story. She's beautiful. She got a smock on, so she's birthing something new. It's nearly like we're coming down the birth canal towards the age of Aquarius in November. So just know Venus is here, lover of beauty, beautiful things, but also wanting to get on and wanting to get on with life and do what you love to do and brings everyone happiness and not be hanging around with people like this person here that may be you know gossipy or nasty or you feel like you've got to bow to them and you're not yourself around them so this is saying be your empress by the end of the last week in September a wheat crop is abundance all this foliage in the forest is also you know growth and improvement she's lying on a beautiful creative cushion on a red base get your feet on the earth and ground, go for some walks, be like the Empress, treat yourself like an Empress at the end of the last week in September, hold your scepter to the universe, receive those wonderful messages of praise and encouragement and you know just know you are God's child or spirit, a spirit, a little, a little fairy or an imp, a little fairy. That would be nice to think of yourself as not being so critical, not being so nasty to yourself. Don't believe this hairy-legged, bug-eyed, horned, bat-winged bloke or Sheila. <laughs> oh. <laughs> be the Empress. Because on here is pomegranates. Pomegranates is also a sign of juiciness and nurturing and loving and she's having a baby she's birthing something new go for it girl boy whoever you are go for something new the last card was the wheel of fortune it's in reverse but what I like about the wheel of fortune is you can turn it in a second it's a wheel it, it nearly rolls itself into place and just know when it comes up no matter which direction it is the wheel of fortune says itself is you're on a fortunate track Believe in yourself is the main thing that I'm getting for this week. Numbers 10 and 3 is 13. And then we have good old 15. So that's 28 and 29. 2 and 9 is 11. And 11 is master number uh, of service. It's a master number of doing what you want to do because that's going to be a service to you is you being service to others. So you may have to get out of a situation or change your location, change your job, change your attitude, and that's all going to make a ripple effect out to others that will love you just as much, if not more, but the loving needs to be done from the self first. Have a lovely week, everyone.